These days, most euphonium players are taught to use vibrato fairly early in their development, and vibrato is a very important tool for the euphonium. Some instruments in the brass family don't use vibrato um, as much as we do on euphonium. For example, the French horn, especially in America, often will play without vibrato. But vibrato is a tool, and it's part of your expressive toolkit. Now, it's not part of your tone, in, at least in my opinion. Uh, your tone should be good and pure without vibrato. It's probably important to practice without vibrato sometimes to make sure that your tone and expression have some substance to them and then add the vibrato as a tool beyond that yet, another expressive tool. I'm going to play number 41 from the middle of the Arban book, the section called The Art of Phrasing. The first time I play it, I'm going to use no vibrato and I'm going to make it sound interesting without vibrato as though I were perhaps an American French horn player. That was actually hard work for me because I'm used to using vibrato as part of my expression. So I was trying to phrase and express without vibrato at all. Now that makes me think about the underlying phrases and what we can do with dynamics, slight rubatos here and there, articulations and so on to make the phrase interesting. Now beyond that, we can add vibrato and I think that makes it even prettier yet. That same kind of practice even works in a march. Here's Sousa's Fairest of the Fair, first without vibrato. <laughs> in the vibrato that seems instinctive to me. that adds a little bit of shimmer to the march, which is kind of a nice thing. And sometimes I need to be a bit more deliberate in how I apply vibrato in trying to add it in this march, for example, on the dotted eighth notes. There's not a lot of time to get the vibrato energized in the, and not slow down the tempo. So you have to be very fast with vibrato in that case. Give that a try on your practice. It's good to learn how to control your vibrato, how to make sure you're not just using it instinctively and all the time. And ever-present vibrato can sometimes get a little bit obnoxious. So you want to be strategic about how you use it and make sure it really does fit what you want the music to do and what the composer wanted the music to do. <laughs> 